We had Chet versus Wemby last night. Obviously, a game with, uh, I don't know, a lot of buildup, a lot of anticipation. Two top rookies. These guys really, to start the year, have been incredible. And we got a dud. <laughs> as, as so often happens when you uh, when you're anticipating a sporting event, you can't pre-plan what's going to happen. Neither guy really had a good game. Um, what was it like, guys, for you to see these two? I mean, they're not twin towers because they're not on the same team, but the, the photo of them on the jump ball, it looks like a model of the double helix to me. I mean, it just, it's very visually jarring. It just like looks like it doesn't belong. I mean, it's it's one of those things. Look, the the matchup, the idea of what we hope would be, you know, epic we didn't we didn't get it this time which is fine uh i think they're gonna have a lot of battles over the course there was animosity between the two of them you could felt like they both felt the moment and and wanted to go at one another you know like yeah headbutt gate from preseason there was a fun play uh when the game was pretty much already decided because let's just be honest also the spurs are way behind the oklahoma city thunder in terms of just talent and whatnot like I think I texted you guys or another friend group where I just said, like, this could be a fun Chet versus Wemby thing, but this game's going to be a blowout. And that's exactly what it was. Uh, but there was a moment where, you know, uh, Holmgren's going up against Zach Collins and just Wemby just comes from behind and rejects his shot, you know? And it's like, it's, it's, there, there are those types of things that we're going to get with that stuff. But I like it because we have a rivalry somewhat building. If the, if the Spurs can, keep this kind of going like we can actually have a fun rivalry between these two teams for quite a while yeah, it's I'm like glad you pointed magic and out bird as, <laughs> I, i'm glad you pointed out as rivalry between the teams uh just you know the history of if you like age group competition Wemby and, and chet matched up a bunch and um it was not a it was it was not a rivalry it was a it was a domination essentially like like this this sort of how uh um when Wembenyama was sort of bubbling up as a prospect, it's like, okay, everyone knew about Chet, and then there's this big French guy who's just destroying him. So I think that, um, uh, you know, I think that Wembenyama is, is further along physically than, than, than Holmgren is, certainly. So I think that it's going to be in that individual matchup. I think it's, I don't think it's necessarily a rivalry, though. It could be an interesting team rivalry, as, as Mo says, if, uh, I don't know, San Antonio adds a point guard. <laughs> I mean, we can go into this like we've done it many times, but like, sorry, man, the, the point Sohan thing just isn't going to work. <laughs> like it's it's the, the it, what, what's really crushing. And we've said it before. It's, you know, just taking away reps from other guys that need it like they need a veteran point guard and they need it fast. And, you know, like this is a fun idea, but come on, man, like we let's just this is hurting all the other guys on the team to try to see if Sohan's a, Sohan's a point guard. And we know he's not. I don't mind the experiment, but I think at this point, like you just, you, you, they're, they, they struggle so much to get guys in the right spots with the ball. Um, that I think that, that, it, it, that, that as Mo says, it's, it's, you're, you're costing yourself quality reps. And the fact that, you know, it bears out by just how much more efficient they've been with Trey Jones on the court. And Trey Jones is a perfectly fine backup point guard, but it shouldn't be that much of a, of an impact. 